In the past, my life was a lot about execution and recovery. Do something hard because you are supposed to and then spend free time trying to escape from that reality. After some time, I felt like I'm wasting all my potential. I started taking some steps back to find out what really is important for me in this life. Here are five ways I have made my life simpler and more fulfilling so far. The first one is unnecessary conveniences. I don't know if that's a word, but it sounds like a good title at least. I had a lot of things that made my life a little bit easier, but I didn't necessarily still need those things. I had my first car when I was 19 years old and I needed that to go to work. I worked in a place that they didn't have any buses or public transportation that went from the city where I'm now to that place that was an airport or airfield. And when I stopped working there, did I need the car anymore? I I mean, yeah, it was nice to go to place to another much faster, but it wasn't something I absolutely needed. So what I did, I sold the car and I started using a bicycle instead. So I made life much simpler. I could experience much more things because I used a bicycle and couldn't just in a blink of an eye go from one place to another. The second way I have simplified my life is that I redefined success. I realized there isn't amount of things that if I have, I will be successful or achievements, for example, in, I don't know, sports or career or like I'm marrying young or buying a house or whatever. I decided that for me, it's so much more about how I feel. To remind myself of this, I even made a shirt. I think I was like maybe 21 that said, happiness is the highest level of success. Just so that I wouldn't forget this thing that I realized. And I started to plan my goals based on values over achievements. Like if I knew that that thing would make me feel good for about five minutes and after that I wouldn't care. It wasn't any more worth it to try to pursue that for months or weeks or years even. The third thing is that I started to plan my life. And you might ask, well, what does planning your life have to do with simplifying your life? The answer is, if you don't know what you want to achieve, you end up doing a lot of things that you didn't need to do. So I started to plan like, first I wrote 100 dreams in life that I want to achieve. And then I made a list from those 100, what are actually some like end goals for me that I would like to achieve no matter what. And then <laughs> some things that were just like, cool things to have in life. For example, I don't know, learn learn how to do a backflip was one of those things. And it's like, could I survive my life without knowing how to do a backflip? Of course, yeah. And that way I could easily prioritize my life and spend time on the things that actually mattered and not at all on the things that didn't matter. Sunny Kind Journey is one good example of that because that checks like so many different values and things that I want to experience during my life. So I would much rather focus on that and not for example, I don't know, go to college or university for five years and get a degree and learn some skills that I might not use because they are not aligned with who I really am and what I actually want to experience during my life. The fourth one might sound obvious, but it isn't. I simplified my life by being me and starting to be me. In our teenage years, many times we are what our surroundings want us to be. So for example, with our family, we are a certain way. With our friends, we are a certain way. If we do a certain hobby, we, I don't know, play football, we are a certain way in that team. But then when we are not with those people, we might be very different. A couple of weeks ago, I made on this YouTube channel this community post where I asked, are you different when you're around others? And many people said that they are same and many people say that they are quite different. What I started to do to simplify my life was to be basically the same. Of course, you use maybe different language when you are with your friends or when you are with your family but it simplified my life a lot because I didn't anymore need to think like okay I'm with this group and last time or usually I'm like this with them <laughs> and then I'm with my family and I need to kind of have this mask on I was just like I will be me I stopped seeking validation from others and it was very liberating when you can just be yourself and you don't have to be very complicated and have so many things going on at the same time you can just be you like unapologetically 
I like that word. And also this meant setting boundaries and saying no. If I didn't feel to do something, I didn't feel to go out or do certain things, I could just say no. And if the people don't like it, I mean, it's kind of not my problem. Of course, I still want to respect others, but I have to think of me and my life as well. Like, do I always want to be a certain way and stuck in that? Or do I want to move on? And I need to listen to myself. If that's something that I want to do, then I should do that. And you should do too. The fifth huge way how I have simplified my life is that I started doing good habits to reduce stress. I used to have these habits that would, in my opinion at least, reduce stress. Like for example, playing video games or watching TV series or movies or going out. Have the boys night out pretty much every weekend. At some point I realized after those weekends or nights I would feel just more drained because emotionally it didn't recharge me it just took more things away from me like more energy like for example i binged watched a series in two days then i'm going back to work only thing i can think of is that series basically i was in front of the screen for <laughs> for 16 hours during the weekend or something like that no i'm not recharged i let go of those things and i just started to uh, go out for walks meditate do sports i started running in 2020 when the gyms were closed because of covid now it's like my top activity and as well rather Rather than watching, for example, movies or playing video games or watching TV series very late in the evening, I started to sleep. And by doing these things, I started to feel much lighter in my life and all that heavy stress went away and life became much simpler because of this. So what I would say to you is that no matter what you do, what decision you're about to make, ask yourself, will this simplify my life or not? And if not, then reconsider. To know how and why all this has made me so much happier, make sure to watch this video next. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Remember to stay kind and meaningful in your own beautiful journey. Seve signing out from the winter wonderland. See you in the next one. Ciao.